Hi, my name is Amy, also known as Space Junk. Um, I've had a craft blog for the past year or two on Blogspot, and I thought it might be nice to have a video to go along with my blog so that I can show off some of the objects that I've done and projects I'm working on and that kind of stuff in more of like a real-time um, 3D type situation. So. Um, I'll talk about um, some things that I've already finished and that I've just started and things that I've been working on for a while. And so the first object that I'd like to talk about is this, which is my heathered hoodie vest. Um, the pattern is from the fall 2009 knit scene. Um, I made it out of Bernard alpaca in, I think the colorway is ebony, and then I got these um, little pretty um, silver gray buttons from Joanne Fabrics, I think. And um, I like the way it came out. Um, it fits me pretty well. It's very heavy. The yarn is real drapey and kind of heavy, but it's, it's warm and it's really soft. The only thing I don't really like about it is that the hood on this thing is humongous. Um, it's not humongous this way because I actually took out some stitches to try and make it smaller, but it is huge this way, whereas it's really deep and I don't, I don't know, I just don't think I'm going to wear the hood up because I don't like the way it looks. But um, for the rest of it, I really, I really like it. I think it came out nice and it's really warm. Um, other things that I have finished recently. Um, I finished a bunch of Christmas presents. Um, unfortunately, I've already given them out, and so I can't record those and show them to you. I've got pictures of everything um, on my Ravelry and all the projects, but I can't um, show them in the video. I thought about recording the video before I gave them out, but of course, that didn't get done. So, um, I did finish the um, tie-dye stripes colorway dishcloth that I was working on um, and it came out really pretty. This is um, sugar and cream stripes. And then I did another two dishcloths this week that were um, the waffle knit dishcloth pattern. Um, these were going to be Christmas presents and I didn't get them done in time. So now I'm just doing them for myself or for whatever. I started, I cast on another one so that I will always have one on the needles because they're really good projects to take with you and to work on when you're going to be in a waiting room situation or whatever. Um, I think that's it for recently finished things since I don't have my Christmas um, presents with me. Um, recently started, um, I started the Manhattan socks. Um, this is the Knit Picks. Imagination Sock Yarn in Lost Boys colorway. Um, I've got this much done. I just cast it on after midnight last night. Um, the yarn is really pretty, but I don't think it's going to show up well on the camera, but um, I really like this colorway. So I've got that pair of socks just started. Um, I've got another pair of socks um, already in process. These are the Spring Forward pattern from Nitty. Um, I'm not sure when. Summer 2008 Nitty. Um, this is the Imagination Knit Picks sock yarn in unicorns, I think. Um, they're coming out really pretty. Um, this is as far as I've got. This is the first sock. so. That's that. Um, I plan to cast on for the owl sweater in more of this um, alpaca yarn. I got this, um, what is this called? Tundra. Um, it's like a heathered brownish color. So I'm going to do that eventually. Hopefully that's going to come out well. Um, also, let's see, I've got on in progress my Aeolian shawl from Nitty Spring 2009. 
this thing I have been working on for ages. I don't even know when I cast it on. I'd have to look that up. Um, it's in nitpicks like, what is it called? Some kind of shine or shimmer or something lace. Um, in turquoise splendor, I think is the colorway. Um, this is how far I've gotten on it. It's just hard to show on the camera. Um, there are some mistakes in it. Um, I'm one of those people who, when they get a mistake and it's too much of a pain to go back and rip it out and start over, I will just find a way to problem solve it out and make it work. And so I will just fiddle with things so that it will get back to where I should be. And so there are a couple places where maybe a bead is not lined up correctly or a yarn over is not, but I don't care. It adds character, you know, and it's mine and I don't care, so whatever. Um, but it's really pretty and I can't wait to get it finished. It just takes me forever to get across one row because I'm at, I don't know how many hundreds of stitches. Um, the beads I am using I ordered online from wimbeads.com. There's some kind of rainbow metallic teal kind of a color. Um, uh, but that's about it for that. Um, those are the only things. Oh, no. I also have, I cast on this Harry Bear pattern um, from Barocco online. It's a free pattern. Um, and this is going to be a Christmas present also, but it didn't get done in time. But I'm using up, I had one skein of this Karen Cozy yarn in marbled taupe. And it was just sitting around in my stash, and I didn't know what I would use it for. So I thought this would be a good purpose. And so far, this is the back of the bear. You can see. It's knit like what the back all one piece and the front all one piece, and then you sew the two halves together and stuff it as far as I know. So um, he's really soft. I think this is a perfect yarn um, to use for this, and hopefully I will have enough because I looked at the um, pattern and I looked at how much yarn is in this skein, and it looked like it was going to be just enough, so I'm hoping that actually holds true. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for what I'm really working on right now. I want to cast on the owls. I've got these two socks going, a dishcloth going, I've got the shawl going, and then on my wheel for spinning, I'm doing this, um, this is Merino Tencel in Techno Zebra that I got from, um, Copper Pot Woolies, which is copperpot.etsy.com. This stuff is so soft and so pretty um, and shiny. It's like green and silver and black. Um, and I'm trying to do it thin, but I'm not very good at spinning thin. Um, it's taking a lot of practice for me to get better at it. So um, I want to see how much I can get out of it. I think I have like eight ounces of this because I bought two two bags. So I, yeah, I think it's eight ounces. So so far this is what I have left on the first bag. Um, it's on the you can see my wheel in the background. It's um, still on the spindle. I haven't taken it off to be able to show you or anything, but it looks really pretty. Um, I haven't done any spinning in a long time because I've been frantically trying to get all this knitting done for Christmas presents that I haven't really had time. So um, I do want to get back to the spinning because I really miss it. So um, hopefully I'll do that soon. But um, I think I'm about running out of time. So I'm going to go. And um, I don't know when I will do another one of these updates, but um, we'll just have to see what happens. I'll talk to you later. Bye.